Hello everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Welcome back to part two of Build a Page for, for April of 2023. And we are using a bingo board to create our page kits. So I did the first two already and I'm going um, like down the rows. So hopefully that's popped up there so you can see it. But we did the one starting with the flamingo embellishments and the one starting with the cut file. Um, on the video previous. So we're gonna do the other three today. Um, and I'm gonna start with the one, I just grabbed a bunch of stuff really. So I thought we could play. Um, so the first one that we're gonna work with is two photos, use scraps, florals, pastel colors, and tags or tabs. So I have my two photos. They are from a couple years ago when Jackson was with my mom and they went to, it's called Lummy Island. Um, for just a little day trip when he was staying with my mom for a little bit. So really love them. I think the photos are just so cute. And my mom was taking a selfie, which I just, I love. So um, I definitely wanted to get those documented. And then I'm going to kind of um, mix the tags and tabs with the pastel pale colors, um, kind of with this Bloom Street uh, collection and I think it may have some floral in it even I'm not sure but I thought I probably can make it work with just this one um, collection pack so I'm pulling that in and then I also thought for the the scraps the scraps of using this um indigo and ivory now it's not super pastel but it does have some pale colors in it and in, intermixed in it so i thought i'd grab that it also has tags and i've got scrap pieces in here so i'm gonna kind of do that all together as one thing if for any reason this package i didn't want to open it because it's quite i don't want to be loud if it doesn't have floral in it um, I will figure that out and I will find a floral to be able to add, maybe a cut file, whatever have you. But that is how I'm going to take on and do that first row with this one for my page kit. So pretty simple. Next up, we have sequins, newer drops, or enamel dots, wood veneer, a free spot, butterflies, and L shape. Now, I have remember what my plan was for this that goes there mm, butterflies that is why I grabbed this one now I remember I have the Maggie Holmes what was this It's the carousel collection I love this collection so much um, so it has butterflies in it so I've gotten that taken care of I can create an L shape with the patterns that are left in here um, I can create a layout, whatever have you. And I will include wood veneer and sequins. So I have not grabbed my sequins for them yet. I did grab my wood veneer though, and I can't think of what I did with it. Christy, are you with it today? No, no, you're not. Where did my butterflies go? Oh dear. Well, I have butterflies. So that's not wood veneer, but they're butterflies. Um, oh, you know why? Okay, this is why. I remember now. Um, what my wood veneer butterflies are in my other mixed media, uh, sorry, my other page kit that I created earlier today, which had the flamingo embellishments and all of that, and the, my plan with the photos from the butterfly garden. Um, so that's where all my wood veneer is for that. And I have sequins galore everywhere, so sequins I have I have a big old drawer full of sequins so um I I'm just gonna pull once I have the layout kind of created and I get the right mix for that okay I don't know what I'm gonna do about the free spot I'm not really sure how to work that in so we'll see maybe I'll add some stitching can stitching be my free spot I think we'll do that so I don't have photos yet for this one. I haven't quite figured that out. Um, I will grab that before I make the layout, but I have this part ready to go following the bingo board. This bingo board has given me a bit of, of trouble. Like I'm like, I don't know how to do this. So I'm glad to have 
have it almost figured out. Okay, for the last row, I need two or more alphas, flare, three pieces of pattern paper, paper stenciling, um, and hearts or stars. So I have the stars. I also have the hearts. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, but they're available to me. Um, stenciling, I have stencils galore and I have a star stencil that this is really cool. So it's from Shadney and you line it up and you rotate it and it makes a wreath around with the stars. So I have that to play with. I have my three pattern papers to play off of. I love these colors. I'm probably going to document one of my boys. There is also this kind of space theme one if I want to to go that route. I don't know. And then I have this lovely little container. This is all the flare I own. I don't own very much of it, but I do have this. So I will grab from my flare when it's time to create. And my alphas just sit right beside me. Um, and so I'll make sure to just grab enough alphas to make sure that I fit the challenge of two or more, which will be easy enough. So that is how I'm going to take on the last row. And I didn't, again, I didn't grab any photos. I was more worried about making sure I had all the bits and pieces needed for the, the bingo board than what photos I'm going to use. And I have no idea other than the fact that um, this middle one has to have an L shaped design. I have no idea what my layouts are going to be like how I'm going to draw inspiration. No clue. Just that I'm going to be playing with these products. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and kind of seeing my take on how I'm doing it. I'm really excited to see what everyone else does. I think they'll, they are probably going to be a little bit more organized than me and have a bit of a better plan. So make sure you check out all the videos. Um, and don't forget to check out Sheila over on Instagram. She's Scotian Scrapbooker. We want to, um, I'm excited to see what she does with the bingo board as well. And links will be down below for you. I think that's everything. I will see you guys tomorrow with the first video. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your Sunday. Bye everyone.